Folks, I need your help. I think I'm thinking about deer hunting more than I am riding my motorcycle. Something's wrong. Bodine 52, how are you folks? Out and about on a beautiful fall day. It is hunting season in the state of Michigan and many other places. And I am out riding Big Mama, my 2018 Ultra Limited, and many other folks are out riding as well. By the way, is the, is the cool sign, you know, out here okay and not getting off your handlebars, or is that lazy? I say it's two down. Keep the rubber down. Keep two wheels down. Dang it. All right, so focus, buddy, focus. All right, so some of you may know, and by the way, if you do not support um, deer hunting or hunting, um, I respect that, but I am a deer hunter, and I get excited about deer hunting. Now, I am a, a um, I've been hunting probably about, only about four or five years now, and I'll only, uh, of course, shoot anything that we're going to that's of size, that's mature, and that you can eat, and why am I doing this? Why am I saying that? You know what? We're too politically correct. I go deer hunting, and I love, love, love venison. Well, I love venison steaks and ground. All right, back to where I was going. So, I'm out and about on my motorcycle, and I'm thinking, because there's been a bunch of weather changes here in Michigan, it is the perfect time especially early in the mornings and later before dusk to be sitting in a tree with a bow and looking for uh, looking for a big buck big buck and so what got me thinking about this is I needed to uh, uh, transport my bike today and I've been just you know not been able to get out and ride because a lot of the things going on job moving all that fun stuff right and I love riding I mean this is just changed, you know, it always changes your mood when you go, right? It makes it you know, a better place, right? But I've been missing, because I haven't been hunting in about three weeks, it's the start of the season. It's late October, I've only sat once. And, um, so I'm thinking, while I'm riding here, and I'm looking over this wooded area, I'm like, man, I wish I was hunting. And I'm like, I think it's that time of year, that short time period of the year where I may want to deer hunt more than I want to ride my motorcycle. Oh my God. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? Help me, folks, help me. Now, you could say, you can do both, Bodine, dummy. But I get that, but which one hits you first? So if you are a hunter and a motorcycle rider, which do you have the same problem that I'm having, or is it just me? And here's what started it. So, I moved into a new house. You know, I'm seeing all this beautiful hunting land that I've been driving by. And, at my new house, there's, I don't know, 40 or 50 acres behind my house that is not owned by me or private. It's owned by, actually, our, our neighborhood. It has a walking path and stuff back there. It's really cool. And I have a big apple tree in my backyard. So I've been in a new house a couple days. Well, guess what? Yep, you guessed it. My house comes with pets. And here's the two pets that I saw partaking of my apple tree last night. Right there. Now, I'm not going to, first of all, those two beautiful doe were too small. But it kind of makes you think that I could sit on my deck or in my living room or on the edge of my bed plop a window out. Is that the way to introduce myself to the new neighbors? By the way, look how beautiful this is. Is that the way to introduce myself to the new neighbors? By, okay, I know I'm going to lose some subscriber too because of this, but is this the way to lose? Is it, how to lose a subscriber is by Bodine52. Here it goes. Is it bad that I move in the house, see a couple deer in my backyard, shoot them with an arrow, 
and then chase them and follow them their blood trail through the new neighborhood. I don't know. I, I think I need to set the tone with the neighbors anyway. You know, it's like if you happen to be a firearm person that has firearms like I do, I pull them in the driveway when I'm moving in and I take them out one at a time, nice and slow. Take them in the house, put them in the safe. I want to train the neighbors right. All those firearms, and I'll chase deer if I want to. No, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm not going to shoot deer in my backyard. I'm going to go out to hunting camp with my buddy, and uh, that's the whole part of it. You know, want to you want to go see wildlife, and and uh, it's about the brotherhood and sisterhood because there's female hunters. But and I will tell you on my first hunt. I did see uh, a family of five doe, and I think I may have a picture of those. I'm not sure. If I do, I'll put it up right here. Um, that I passed on. It was a little early in the season, and who am I to break up a family since they're all traveling together? Um, but I was just curious, folks. Are those cows? Why do those cows, are those cows, they got like a white stripe in the middle of them and then brown on it. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. You all know that I don't know much about cows and stuff like that because you remember the bull story. <laughs> if you haven't watched my video on the bull story, check it out right here. I'll leave it in the comments. It's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me in my lifetime. So, all right, folks, that is my question. If you happen to be a avid hunter, doesn't have to be a deer hunter, uh, anything, is, is the trigger in your mind start hunting, then motorcycle, or motorcycle, then hunting? Could I take my motorcycle hunting? I don't know. I don't know. I would love your feedback. <laughs> that is it, folks. Crazy Boning 52 is now checking out. Hey, be safe on and off the motorcycle. And whether you're on a motorcycle or not, or in a cage, it is that time of year for a lot of four-legged animals coming across the road and uh, you know especially that hour after sunlight or uh, yeah sunlight and uh, and right before sunset so is the time especially then they're out and if you happen to have one that comes in front of you as bad as this sounds the safest thing for you to do is not swerve and miss it more people get killed doing that but to actually drive straight through the animal, um, it will die quickly. Um, but you will if you swerve. So just want you to say if I care about you. I appreciate you checking in on the on the, uh, on the channel in the video. Make sure to be safe out there. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.